Say hi, say hi, Dodo. He's a sleepy dog. Hmm? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a unboring, with quotation, unboring natural look. Yesterday that my mom was saying to me now, oh, seems your video is all about natural look. You know, do you think people feel boring about it? I'm like, mm, I know natural look, I get, and I understand where she comes from, but natural look doesn't need to be boring you can still do a lot of different natural look with the different color collections with you know different color combinations as well but natural look is more towards like daily wearable that not really events depending occasion depending you'll be able to wear that type of makeup in all the occasions or throughout the day or in or on the daily basis I suppose that's all categorized as neutral look so today we're going to do a lovely warm neutral look just to put a little bit cream on my lip my lip is really dry today palette we're going to use Chanel's one this is not like this Chanel's one this is not new although it came with a box because I repurchased it I had this eyeshadow palette back home in UK my home but I don't have it here but this is kind of what I thought about the warm tone very soft lady elegant that type of eye looks this was the palette that jumped into my head so I just repurchased it here this is called healthy glow natural eyeshadow palette warm you see it's already called the natural eyeshadow palette Chanel's packaging I think you know we don't need to make any judgment on that it's Chanel and it's pretty it's elegant I haven't even done the swatches I don't really need to because I used this palette before um, but I will do the swatches for you guys if you fast forward to this part wondering what's this, that's my dog. That's the swatches. As it's described, it's a warm tone, neutral color. It's more coral pink as the main undertone for all the eyeshadows. A little bit different. And this palette cam with two brushes as well we're just going to use the brush that came with it i quite like this one this brush is very soft first we're going to dip into this lightest color it is a very fine shimmer color um chanel this palette does has fallout so oh come on so when you dip your brush in you do need to tap easy dandy put this all over your eyelid don't need to worry about any techniques just swip on all over the your just swip on all over the eyelid a little bit for the under eye area this one doesn't show too much on your eyes but it's kind of because it has a very fine shimmer color in there therefore oh, I forgot to zoom you guys in how rude as you can tell it's not really showing the color on your eyelid but because it has a very fine shimmer color in there therefore it's to give your eyelid a very good um, base color Then let's dip into this pink orange color. That's going to be the main color for today. 
I normally do with this color is I I follow my double eyelid line to tap the surround and follow the shape of my double eyelid line like that do you see and go over just tiny slightly then blend it out if you feel the color is too light then build up again Chanel this palette is pigmentation is not high at all so it's very safe and friendly for beginners as well that normally I feel is enough I do extend a little bit just above the double eyelid and when you just open your eyes normally when you look at the people they can still see the hint of the color over here but the, when you blink they will be able to have a split second to see the full color then for the under eye area i only apply the out corner with this color i think the other brush is better it's more pointed then extend downward a little bit and then we dip into this light pink shimmer color then do the other half of the under eye area and then use the finger dip into the lightest shimmer color tap it off a little bit then highlight in the middle area for day to day use this is enough if you want a sparkle a little bit like if finish work go for dinner with with girls or with your mates then you, what you can do is just extend a little bit in this area so especially when you look at people then you start talking and the blink people will see the very fine reflection for my inner corner I do need to use a small brush just the same lightest shimmer color just for the inner corner then we finish with a wing out by using the darker darker color over here I will uh, also use this color to work with the eyeliners as well I know the color is not that intense we will use a gelled eyeliner but we just get the shape in first once you apply the eyeliner then I go back to the palette then dip into the dark brown color then just smudge out the eyeliner to make it it's more smooth you see this type of eye look is still neutral but it's very colorful and not boring at all let me put the lipstick on it looks even better for lip, I use the Fancy Beauty Stunner Lip Paint, Uncuffed. This one is 
this one when you apply a thin layer it is so beautiful it's very elegant soft ladylike but i don't like to put a thick layer thick layer i find it is a little bit little bit too gray purple in a way but a thin layer beautiful Zoom you in. And then use the same palette. You can also transfer to an evening look. You just need to emphasize the look a little bit. If I, after, if after work I need to go out for dinner or go for a cocktail evening, I normally will bring the same eyeshadow palette you need you have to bring a mascara and your eyeliner you can be a liquid eyeliner can be the gel eyeliners you use you need to bring one with you then you can either just bring the same lipstick you have or you can just get a slightly different lip color you have let's transfer this look to evening one first i will dip into the dark brown color to make the eye a little bit more smoky than the daytime the eye will emphasize you don't have to remove anything have your eyelashes pointing it's totally fine just bring probably better to bring your own brush uh, the brush come with it. it may not be that convenient to use i will add the color at the out corner then i will add a little bit from here Don't worry about the patchiness, we will smudge it out anyway. And then dip back to the the orange shimmer color to put in the middle. Then just bring a fluffy brush with you to blend it out. Can you now see the difference compared to this one? The color over here is way much darker than here. Then dip it into the same dark brown color for the under eye. And then dip back to the lightest the shimmer color because we want a bit of sparkle in the evening dip in the middle of the eye this time i wouldn't extend out too much and then same color put a little bit under the eyebrow bone Just to check if your inner corner is still okay. So once you upgrade your eyeshadow, then to emphasize your eyeliner. And if you have liquid eyeliner, it's perfect. If you have gelled eyeliner, it also would work. For the gelled eyeliner, depends how smoky you want. If you really intense the color, I would apply a black eyeliner but for this color i think the brown color would still work so you don't need to do too much with it because throughout the day your eyeliner is going to find out a little bit so all you need to do is just to refill it up then add a little bit over here only tiny a bit then use the brush to then use the brush to smudge it up like that can you now tell this eyes is actually more it, it looks visually look slightly bigger i'm not going to retouch the mascara is because i literally just applied right but throughout the day your mascara again going to find out a little bit so you just need to refill your 
mascara. Now finished both eyes. Then to change the lip color, you kind of people will feel like you did a completely fresh makeup. And I sometimes I can't be bothered to remove the original one, then I just lay another one on top of it. And today, hang on, it's got dark again. That's better. Then today I'm going to layer the color keys B705. This is a lovely watermelon color. So once I laid this color, it kind of darkened um, the original color and also add a little bit of redness in there. The original one is more towards a purple, but now is more redness on there. Which again goes very well with the smoky eye, pink smoky eye today. Then let's finish today's video. Hope you do like it. If you also have some great tips for creating a onboarding, neutral, creative look, please do leave your comments down below and I will certainly check it out. If you do like today's video, don't forget to give a thumb up and most importantly, to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.